Maria Ressa. When you see her, you'll see that she's a Filipino journalist who stands at five foot two, but she stands taller than so many of us in her courage and personal sacrifice to the cause of telling the truth. She is fearlessly taking on a regime that is leveraging every angle to taunt, tear apart, and terrify her. She is a light in the darkest moments. She has a nearly incomprehensible fearlessness in the face of almost constant death threats. What gives you the courage to keep taking him on? We shouldn't allow harassment, intimidation, and the fear of that stop you from doing your job. You must fight for your rights while you still can. She has the courage to take on corruption and the determination to expose the truth. To me, Maria Ressa is quite simply a superhero. Please welcome 2019 Ohi Courage Award and 2021 Nobel Peace Prize Laureate, Maria Reza. The power of no, Ohi, is more important today than ever because silence is consent. It's a lesson we learned in the Philippines, a lesson my friends Nadia Murad and Vladimir Karamorza know in their soul. The challenge today is whether our international rules-based order still works. The challenge is justice, core to our humanity. Too many are getting away with impunity from countries to companies, and it is dividing us in ways that are literally destroying us, destroying trust for the next generation. As journalists, we're on the front lines, and when we fail to hold the line, the people we serve lose their rights, their freedoms, their lives. So we're jailed, killed, silenced. The number of people jailed, RSF says nearly 800 journalists went to jail last year, more than 520 still in prison today. That includes Jimmy Lai in Hong Kong, Frenchie May Kumpio in the Philippines. The journalists killed, 44% higher than a year earlier because of Gaza. And those silenced? Well, as women journalists know, there are many more novel ways of silencing journalists today when free speech is literally used to pound you to silence, to silence free speech. In the Nobel lecture, I said an atom bomb exploded in our information ecosystem when journalists lost our gatekeeping powers to big tech. That happened around 2014 and the death toll from that, that death toll is still happening today. But tonight, you're here. Congratulations to those recognized with the OHI Awards, where saying no requires tremendous courage because silence is consent.